the trap of being a social media influencer man i've been wanting to do this video for so long but my thoughts are all over the place so i'm gonna try to make this make sense for y'all and try to talk say this in the right way so y'all can understand bro doing social media is a lot harder than people think and a lot more draining than people will ever understand if you don't do it and i understand that because i used to work a job i only been doing social media for like eight months nine months but i used to work and when i was working at walmart i'll never forget this day i looked at my phone i'm on like an eight hour nine hour shift busting my ass you know what i'm saying only thing keeping me going is me and my man and just me and my man's just laughing and shit having fun that's the only thing i look at my phone i see kai sanat with like a million viewers and the nigga was sleeping i'm like Bro, I started thinking like, bro, what world am I in? Like, I just started getting so mad. Like, bro, how is he sleeping and making more than my whole bloodline, bro? How is he doing this? Like, what is the what is the secret? That's that's what I start thinking. And I'm like, why do social media influencers have it so easy? That's what I, I, I was thinking. And it's like, now that I'm actually somebody that does this full time, I will say to you, bro. This shit is not easy, bro. And I'm not exaggerating. I have no reason to say this. I'm just telling the truth. Like, a lot of people say, oh, we're streaming ain't easier than 9 to 5. They just wake up and bullshit. It's like, no, bro. You don't understand. This shit is real. Like, it's very mentally draining. Your mind never shuts off. You can never give yourself a break because of the competition being at its highest peak. And you're always thinking of that next idea. I can't ever just say to myself, no, let me take six hours off. Let me just relax. Unless I have a huge hit and I know I'm set for the month, which rarely happens. But if not, I take that six hour nap. I'm sleep. I wake up. I'm going to still be broke. I don't have a consistent check. So it's like sometimes y'all see me post like three days three um three videos a day next video three a day and y'all don't understand how draining that is and it's like you have to edit those videos it takes all day it's the mental strain it's not physical draining like and don't get me wrong it's pros and cons to it like obviously the pros i don't have a boss nobody's telling me what to do but what people don't understand is I actually do have a boss. The fans is damn near the boss. The supporters is your boss. The algorithm is your boss. You have to do what the algorithm wants to do. If I if I wake up and today say, hey, fuck the algorithm. I don't care about it. I'm going to do what I want to do. Can't get mad when my videos don't do shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I still report to somebody at the end of the day. And it might not be a person, but it's it's definitely real. Because I'm telling you, if you're not, if you ain't in the right algorithm you know what i'm saying the shit don't matter subscribers don't mean shit you feel me like and a lot of people bro i be getting this comment all the time you buy the subscribers oh you bought subscribers subscriber buy the account stop buying subs you dumbass and it's like bro i be wanting to answer like shut the fuck up bro like why would i buy subs when subs don't matter <laughs> you have you get no money off subs. I don't know if people don't understand that. You get zero money off subs. You get money off of views. The more people view your video for ads, that's how people you nobody gets money off subscribers. And subscribers don't necessarily help your channel grow. You feel me? Subscribe. You feel me? I'm still like a a, a, a creator grinding. Y'all don't see me getting tens of thousands of views. So what the fuck do subscribers? It's like why would I buy that? You know what I'm saying? It's like bro. I have over 30 million views on my channel like people just be saying anything and it's like it's just crazy but that's it goes into the next thing the comments that's another thing you have to deal with when you're an influencer if you're one of those people who just don't care what people say we're gonna see because people aren't meant to have this many people judging them on a day-to-day -day basis it's like you could be one of those people in real life who are like oh yeah i don't care no i never care what people think Okay, that's cool. We're going to see when you get on this internet and you have people that think they know you and think they think they know what's going on, commenting on every move, just hating to get a reaction. Literally, hating to get a reaction and then you're dealing with... It's like, this shit is 90% mentality, bro. And that's something I wish I would have understood before coming into it because I was always... 
one of those people who would be like oh um like i was always working on my mentality before i even started doing social media just for my free time i was one of those people who like to watch books read videos like oh, i gotta get my mind right it just i just always like the feeling of being in control of my mind not letting stuff get to me uh, i never i always just want to be at peace never let stuff get to me but this is a whole different game to the point i'm damn near thinking i wasted my time reading all those books doing all those meditations because it's like once you get to doing shit like this you really have to get your mentality right bro even the negative side the people get all types of egos with this social media shit y'all might know somebody who blew up a little bit who got a little followers who get a little bit of viewers now and now they they think they better than everybody and it's like that's another thing you have to deal with you have to deal with knowing yourself and remembering who you are before any of these people knew you any of these people like you people get very big-headed and then they don't even appeal to their audience no more because of how big headed they got. Get me wrong. I'm I think the people who made it, which is only a small percent, the Aiden Rosses, the Kai Sinats, maybe they don't stress as much because he's like Aiden even said himself, I don't care about views. I got money, I don't care about views. And that's real shit. But that's one percent. That's like some NBA shit. Like, like for real. Like, perfect example. Just because LeBron James and Stephen Curry are balling don't mean uh who's a bum ass NBA player. Don't mean Kemba Walker Kemba Walker is balling. Don't mean you feel me? I, I don't wanna watch the NBA like that, but y'all get my point. Like that don't mean the low level niggas balling. Just cause it's easy for LeBron James to come dunk on your ass 360 windmill, don't mean it's easy for Jeff Teague. It's one percent of people really balling rappers. Just cause Drake got in a hundred million dollar contract just because little baby flying in private jets don't mean ice JJ fishes Don't mean YB and I'm here is YB and I'm here is probably paid don't get me wrong But just example y'all like trolling now I'm here. So it's like It don't mean everybody else is balling. I think I went through a cla classic the grass is greener syndrome bro because i already told y'all how i was looking at it from the outside in and i know that's a, how a lot of people was looking at it. they probably got like damn this shit easy as fuck i'll post a video ah no when you're doing it full time now personally i think this shit is good as a hobby when you have more things going on a job college etc which I'm about to start, you feel me, probably doing some part-time things. Just from the simple aspect, it's like, bro, when this shit is your whole life, bro, it's just it's just draining, bro. It's just mentally draining. <coughs> not, damn. Should have my drink on me. I'm not doing no edits. I want this to be authentic. Draining, not worth it. Literally not worth it. And I love doing YouTube, bro. I genuinely love doing YouTube. But when it becomes how you live how you eat how you pay bills it come it becomes to a point where it gets hard to love and then you have to get into a whole new mindset you know what i'm saying so i don't know man i'm still working through it like i said i'm eight months saying if somebody asked me like i say like three months ago like how's the social media going i'm um, doing the full time and i just said like man um it beats working a job <laughs> that's why i said it beats working a job because it's like that was me telling the truth, but I didn't. That wasn't me elaborating, say, saying the 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 stuff that actually comes with it on the back end. I'm not gonna sit up here and complain to somebody who's actually working nine to ten hours a day because that is way more physically draining, and I understand that. But <laughs> this other the YouTube shit is is very mentally draining, bro. Very. Y'all, let me know in the comments what y'all think. If y'all work right now, if y'all in school, if y'all do content or thinking about doing content or how y'all feel about people who do content, let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man.